the world of writers, actors, and actresses. You dare to act harder. One, two, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. The old dark doc awaiting the sensation of a short, sharp shock. Mommy made me mash my M&M's, bum, bum. Mommy made me mash my M&M's, bum, bum. You dare to write harder. You need a break to express your talent. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. <laughs> A break to change your life. individual to help you be seen and heard. You've earned your big break. All right. Well, welcome, welcome. Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining us. And here we are at the end of week two, the beginning of week three of season one of the big break. Um, Man, this is a wild week, and obviously the you know first order of business is, you know, big hello and welcome to Kevin Brief himself for joining us. You know, hello Kevin, and thank you for being here and joining us today. Um, wow! So we had uh, we were very blessed to have him going through, and uh, Kevin was the one who has selected our top pick for the week. Um, everyone can look forward to uh, a uh, future post of Kevin's commentary on uh, some of our top picks as well as some honorable mentions uh, as a means of kind of giving back and helping all of, all of you auditioning out there. Um, but I guess first off, you know, hey, uh, with us also, of course, don't want to forget, so we've got Sabrina Delaney with us as well, a couple rock stars uh, on our team here. Hi, everybody. What's up? Oh, and hi, everybody. I didn't say that. I... <laughs> Kevin! <laughs> oh, man, so... Uh, you know, I, I, I think really uh, just, uh, you know, a good starting place, uh, a good starting place for this week is, you know, to go to, uh, you know, just chat with Kevin for a second. And, you know, Kevin, it's it's been awesome working with you. Um, you know, the uh, I've, I've seen the commentary you sent over uh, about all the additions and stuff, and you've, um, it's, it's really some fabulous stuff. Um, you know, you've, you've been, my understanding is you've been, uh, you know, teaching and coaching acting for quite some time. You have a very prolific uh, career yourself, um, and we're very blessed to have you here. Um, you know, could you just tell, you know, talk to us about, you know, really what you saw in the concept that we have here of trying to create a platform for the Undiscovered, and, you know, really how that, you know, if that ties into your passion for really helping, you know, young actors really develop themselves. Yeah, of course. Uh, first of all, thanks for having me. Hi, everybody. Uh, i am uh, been blessed. I've made my living acting for a long time. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, supporting myself as an actor since 1987, so I've uh, been doing this a long time. You guys don't even know what that year means. It's like way before you're born. Um, and I'll, I've had a and this week's um, was comedy, and comedy comedy is uh, it's tough, particularly in a, in, a, in a monologue. To be honest, it's very tough to to hit those moments that are funny. And then plus, comedy always works when you hear the laughter come from someplace. So, so you're working in a little bit of a vacuum there. Um, so I, I concentrated my notes on, on finding the comedic elements in the monologues, and most people did. They found elements. I, my comments were mostly just find new things. Um, when mining a thing for comedy, uh, mining it meaning looking for the gems within the, within the piece. Um, one moment that, <clears throat> one thing that works particularly well and is written into a lot of comedy are misdirects, meaning you think you're going here, but you're actually going there. And so um, 
finding that is a really is a is a very cool thing to find in your monologues. And most people did. There were moments where I thought, oh no, there's there's that was a missed opportunity, and that was a good opportunity, and they found it. Um, knowing, uh, you know, some people just are good at finding the timing and finding the jokes, and some people are not. Uh, you know, there's people that can't tell a joke, and they're terrible at it. My 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 mom is one of those. She was just <laughs> sore. You know, and you know, you start off, you go, oh, you know, no, I meant to tell you. Oh, no, I forgot to tell you this part. You know, so people are just bad at telling jokes sometimes. And it's not just telling jokes, it's finding the humor in something. So particularly with sitcoms, you, you, you got to know where the joke is. You got to know where it lands. You got to understand that this, there's a build to this and that happens. That's a really, that, that's a diagram. Boom, 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 boom. Um, so there, there, that is just a, a skill set that can be learned uh, through watching a lot of television, watching a lot of sitcoms, reading a lot of comedy plays and sometimes it's just innate uh, I you know I think I happen to be somebody who's pretty innately funny and I can find the joke in things and in the script um, so uh, I encourage the the, the the comments I made were encouraging people to you know find those find those moments another thing I, I I've, uh, <clears throat> and I think it works particularly well in comedy uh, is I, I, can, I think of it this way. I like to zag when everybody else is zigging. Or I like to say, zig when everybody else is zagging. <clears throat> Meaning, particularly in an audition, there's a chance people are going to do it a certain way, and that's what the casting people are going to see over and over and over again. So if you're the one that finds that moment that zigs when everybody else is zagging, you know, it might catch their eye. Now, I don't mean to do that just as a gimmick. Uh, it needs to come from a place of truth and a place of, uh, and from you. But look for those moments in, 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 in the work, in the, the script you get or the monologue you get. So it, that would be another thing I would look for when you're, particularly in the, in the world of auditioning. Once you get on the set or on the stage, you know, you're working with the director, you're working with the other actors, you've got the script and things develop and you find other things doing that. But when it's just you and the camera and you trying to make, you know, get your big break. <laughs> um, <laughs> that kind of stuff helps somebody like me watching it. Uh, I know there's a lot of people out there that um, we've actually heard from some folks that they were curious about the next categories that were a little, little bit intimidated by the idea of doing a comedy monologue. I think a lot of times, especially for young actors, they're very probably used to more classical stuff, to more um, dramatic, and the idea of doing a comedy monologue could be, oddly enough, trying to be funny could be a little bit daunting. You know, so... Well, yeah. Yeah, you know. There's a, the, that old famous quote of like, uh, dying is easy. Comedy's hard. You know. Yeah. yeah. I don't know that that's very true. I haven't died yet, so it might be. <laughs> comedy might be harder than that. You know, we saw both. we saw this week actually a remarkable in, in, inside of a uh, comedic realm. We actually saw a remarkable variety in monologues this week. I mean, there were some who were who who, who were trying to be a little morose and ironic and and bring out the humor in that. There were some that were just a little wacky and silly. Some characters. And um, you know some that you know as you talked about in your um, in your commentary, there were some that really, and as you said here, just kind of were going one direction, and then that surprise at the end is what really brought the entire the, the entire thing to life. And it was it was really fun actually to go through it, it, to go through. There were you know it's funny the uh, the dramatic ones by contrast you had a big you had again a big variety there, but a lot of emotional highs and lows and stuff. And the comedic one, there's just certain a certain level of expectant levity to it that really made it just a joy to go to go through them, and not just like the not just the winners, but just all the monologues as a whole. As people are, um, you know, essentially trying uh, not taking themselves as seriously, so to speak, and it actually just it, it's great to see that brought out because it brings out the true joy and fun, at least for me, in, yeah. in watching yeah, yeah. them, and that was really cool. Um, Delaney, uh, did you? I know you wanted to ha chat with Kevin a, uh, a bit. So, you know, what do you have for him this this week? Okay, so as someone who is a professional actor who works with comedy quite frequently, uh, I'm an inspiring writer. It's my major in college and all that jazz. Okay. So, uh, when it comes to picking like monologues or shows or things to perform in that involve comedy, like what do you tend to lean towards? What do you tend to see more in media? What like what, what defines like good comedy to you? Well, I mean, uh, not a lot of. I mean, we do the, the the nature of this project is to get in the in the machine is a monologue. Uh, that being said, 
they don't do a lot of monologues in television and film, truly. Um, it doesn't come up that often. Um, so to find those cool, to find the, a piece that you can do in this situation is, is, is a, kind of difficult and, and kudos to everybody that did it. And just know, you know, it, this is not just me saying it. It's a very heroic thing to get up there and record yourself. Well, and once again, uh, you go, I mean, obviously you, you, you read the script and you, you find that you, <clears throat> uh, when you're when you're doing like a sitcom or something, or if you're reading out a sitcom out loud, the writer and other people will sit there and just when it gets a laugh, they'll put a check, and they'll know that okay, that worked. That was a joke. Nobody laughed. It's like a table read. When I did a, a Frasier and Will and Grace, my uh, my two big laugh lines were given to me right before I shot it. Never rehearsed them. Never said them before. <laughs> never said them after. They said try this got the biggest laugh and that's what they cut into the show as far as what i look for when i do work to be quite frank i just work on what they hire me to do i am uh, i'm not i'm not uh at a place <laughs> that i'm that i'm high enough to go well i, I don't want to do that because that's that's not my kind of humor let's see let's switch over sabrina sabrina i know you wanted to talk about something um so a lot of aspiring actors especially at my age look up to a bunch of shows that you've been on like criminal minds or supernatural what are two important things that major shows like that look for in auditioners? This is going to like, a, I'm going to jump into a whole theory of auditioning and how to approach it, comedy, drama, uh, and this applies particularly to film and television. Um, you can't go in, your job's not to get the job. You go in there trying to get the job, it, it's a trap for yourself. Uh, your job's not to go in there and get positive reinforcement. You, you know, there's, you give away a lot of power when you're like, did you, did you like me? Is this, is this what you wanted? Did you want that? Do you not want that? You want, you know, you're giving up a lot of power. So you need to come in and just know that that five minutes, whatever you have in the room, or this time you have to create your self tape, is your chance to act that day. It's my up. Yeah, I get to act for five minutes of one of these people. I get to act for the next half hour creating this thing on, on, on my video. Your job's not to figure out what they want because you have no idea what they want. And unfortunately, many times when you're getting an audition for Supernatural, you don't get the whole script. You know, I get I get these, I get the sides, which are like my scenes that I'm reading, but you know, I, I got to glean what I can out of that. I mean, I will try to read other other parts of the script. I'll take the character description that they give me and, and, and I keep using this word, but kind of mine it for what the gems in there are the little good nuggets that I can work with that resonate with me, that get me, uh, uh, I forget the acting teacher, but carbonate me. You know, I'll make a choice that carbonates me, that makes it more interesting, that they're gonna that they're gonna be engaged as opposed to like a, a boring choice that may not carbonate me nor carbonate them as they watch it. I mean, you know, there's a needy. I'm I'm convinced that even if you don't realize it, it permeates out of you somehow when you come in needy. When you come in, and listen, you're gonna come in needy. You're gonna. Come, I mean, we it, it's. We're actors. We want the job so bad. It's it's so interesting that, you know, you, you know I want it. That's so. If some way, if any way you can approach it, like that's the given. We all know you want this job, and we want you to solve our problem. We want you to be the person we're going to give the job to. Well, speaking of feedback, is a great segue because as um, uh, the people watching are um, very are very anxious to see. Uh, who these mystery people are, who we've got uh, uh, their video turned off. As last week, we're going to be, uh, I know this is what everyone's really looking forward to here, um, and uh, we're going to segue into, we're going to segue into this, and um, so the first one, the first one we're going to, as we transition here to our big reveals for the winners this week, um, the first one we're going to talk about is, and, and show you is our popular vote. Um, you know, first off, to everybody who participated this week in the voting, thank you very much. Um, you know, uh, the big break is trying very hard to allow these young actors to have exposure, to put them out there, to really give them their big break, and that's going to continue to grow in our content. And so thank you. Our, our voting, I believe, more than doubled this week from our first week um, and was absolutely fabulous. So thank you, everybody out there. Um, one person in particular um, definitely pulled uh, far and away ahead uh, in this last uh, in the last uh, handful of hours of voting, and so as we did before, you know, we did have a we had a wonderful moment when that phone call was made, and as such, um, 
the big break would like to uh, welcome our next winner and participant in season one. And uh, oh, without further ado, here they are. The reason I'm calling is actually about your audition. So um, let's see. As you know, you were in the top list this week. And as you know, uh, we did have voting going on for the last uh last 24 hours it ended at 12 o'clock and we've been kind of tallying the votes now as you can imagine you know this is actually one of those really good calls so you know your audition was fabulous your audition was fabulous last week uh we all thought you did a great job and um apparently a whole lot of people out there think you did a fabulous job <laughs> as well um you know, we've, we've been taking some time. We've been very careful. We tallied up all the votes. And, well, look, you know, the easiest way to say this is, as you as you probably heard me say in the trailer, Chloe, you've, you've earned your big break. Oh, my gosh, really? Yeah, <laughs> Chloe, it's, uh, I'm really proud of you. You did an amazing job on your audition. Um, you, by far and away, um, got voted in as the uh, as the popular pick this week, and I'm very happy to, to announce that you're officially on the show. Congratulations! Thank you so much. I really appreciate the opportunity. You did a great job. You've you have so earned this. You have so earned this. And you know I, you know we're really excited to see what comes next. Um, we're really excited to be to be working with you. So, oh man, well look. I guess from all of us over here, just congratulations, fabulous job, and I guess welcome to the big break. Thank you so much. All right, we'll be in touch, Cody. Congrats. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right. So, as we saw... We'd like to, uh, we would very much like to officially welcome to the big break, Chloe. Chloe, come on out and uh, congratulations, congratulations to you. Um, I am very aware as, you know, as a, as a we, we do have a little bit of a uh, video issue with showing all of Chloe. We are working on that, but Chloe, welcome. Welcome to the, uh, welcome to the show. We are uh, super excited to have you. And, you know, like I described, you were, you know, by far and away, you um, broke away on the voting. Um, big favorite out there uh, this week. So, uh, congratulations, congratulations, and welcome. Thank you. So, um, you know, real quick here, um, to be frank, as I attempt to get Chloe fully visual for everybody to see on this, on this delightful tech glitch going on, uh, you know, Kevin, uh, I know that, uh, you know, you had actually, when we spoke, you actually had a, a top, uh, not just a top pick, but a top three. And uh, I know that uh, even on your picks, Chloe was one of those. Do you want to talk for a second just about her audition uh, that stood out? That was just my top pick just kind of popped a little bit more for me at the top of, uh, at the top of uh, her, her uh, it, that, their monologue. It's not necessarily a woman. I didn't mean to give that away. Uh, but no, Chloe, terrific job. Uh, let me, uh, I have notes here. What did I say? Um, yeah, I, 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 um, you know, uh, it's a great choice. It's a good monologue. Uh, that's always really important. You know, material you know, is, is, is important. You pick some good, you picked a really good, nice piece for you. Uh, where, where are you located, by the way? Where do you live, Chloe? Oh. I, Chloe can you hear you me? There? Chloe. Chloe. I'm frozen. I oh no, Chloe. she's frozen. And also, you know, Chloe's really good at mime. Look at that. It's like she's it's, not it's even. Really, it's really, it really <laughs> is impressive. An um, immense talent. Absolutely. Oh, well, hey, you uh, know. But let me just say, uh, really, uh, uh, it was. I, I sent um, <clears throat> Andy my top. I didn't know what he exactly wanted. I sent my top three, and you were my number number two. By how much? Is she back? Hey, she's welcome back. back. Yeah, hi guys. Yeah. Hey. So, yeah, Chloe. Well, Chloe, you might have missed that, but that's how you get a million dollars. Yeah, that. <laughs> just to sum it up for I, you. Oh man. I did no, miss no, it. No, but uh, thank you. No, uh, we, uh, we said lo lots of great things about you, so I'm sorry you missed it all. Can't <laughs> well, thank you. I really appreciate uh, it. Uh, where, where are you located? Are you in the? 
Where do you live? I'm in Huntington Beach, California. Okay, so so uh, there there seemed to be a, a um, I don't know, professionalism, but I, I I don't know if you were out there auditioning yet, but I, I got I, I I could tell you you knew your way around. Uh, you knew your way around. No, I mean uh, <laughs> there was a, a, a there was a uh, oh my god, I can't think of the word. There was a solidness to your work that made me comfortable watching you. <laughs> not feeling well, thank like you yeah so congratulations i mean I, I can see why you got the popular vote and uh <laughs> i'm very happy for you because i i was like oh well, you know this actually worked out perfectly because both the people i wanted up there got up there so that's wow. fantastic for me thank you so much yeah we're all of us at the big break are very proud of uh of chloe's work um you know i guess i'll touch on that I, i'm going to touch on uh just as really uh, on one really quick point because if you've watched um you know, for all those watching, if you have watched our trailer, you've seen you've seen Chloe in it, and Chloe is actually on our social media team. Um, this is one of the oh. reasons why we've actually, um, yeah, this is one of the reasons why, uh, as producers, we took the selection of the uh, participants out of our hands, put it in the hands of one the public and of our feature directors, um, because we didn't essentially we didn't want to take away this opportunity from our team simply because they were on our team and this way essentially they can rise and fall on their own merits and and this is actually this is certainly what's happened so you know big props to big props to Chloe again for 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 her success you know the uh, it, it, kind of like we said the first week the the those phone calls are really just some of the best moments for for me and Chessie yeah. as we get to congratulate people um, speaking of which Speaking of which, there is we do have one more big reveal to do, and I, and we are very excited about this. We're very excited about this. Um, you know, uh, let's see. Before before I show the phone call, uh, just I guess one quick thing, Kevin. Uh, you had um, without kind of you know revealing the name, but there was one you did you did definitely say that this uh, this audition stood out. This was your favorite. Um, you know, would you mind just sharing just really briefly with us kind of what it was that stood out on this audition uh, for you and why this was your top pick? Yeah, um, I, um, once again, uh, the top of her audition I found was very, very engaging. And uh, I've talked about in comedy an important thing, I think I said already, misdirecting. And there was a big misdirect in the very beginning of hers that she really nailed for me. And then a big misdirect at the end of it that she really nailed for me. Um, and it was just, I don't know, just something popped about her. It was, well, you know, since it's a, like Chloe, she picked a good piece. Uh, and I think, you know, that, that's crucial. I mean, I'm not, we're not, I'm trying to, we're dredging the acting here, but if you give yourself, you know, a material that may not be that funny or may not work that you're, you know, you're starting behind the, I don't know, behind something, some metaphor I can't think of. Um, so both of these young ladies had very good, very good choices in the material they did. And brought them to life uh very believable boy and i just uh for our win for the for my pick um i think those are the two things there was a con there was a she brought the she had a commitment to the energy all the way through it and through the end of it uh so there was no uh I, I was just uh, you know and, and once again these are just so totally subjective on my part of what of what move what caught me and uh both chloe and and the next person uh, the next binary, non-binary person that's coming up. Uh, I, I, that's I, I don't know. Just, I'm just talking. Uh, we, I'm trying not to give away the gender of, of this woman. I mean, no. Uh, uh, any case. Um, Cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. Oh, uh, if, you, if just technique-wise, uh, she found, as I said, the comedic moments very specifically for me, and. Um, that and the energy at the top and the way the way she shot it she chose to look in the lens for hers which is not always necessarily the best choice but it worked here um and uh, i guess that was it i just thought i like I, I liked it that's and that's <laughs> hey i mean it really comes down to that is is what do we like so mm -hmm. all right well guys listen without further ado without further ado we would like to um uh reveal our Kevin's top pick for the week, our second winner for week two. Welcome to the big break, coming to us from quite a distance. All right, so here we are. Making my international call to uh, Australia to let our uh, our winner know. Here we go. 
Hello. Uh, hi, uh, Hope. Hi, how are you? I'm doing very well. Doing very well. That yeah, you were in our yeah. you were in our top list, and I, if I, I I glanced over actually at Instagram, and you were getting a lot of votes, and I'm very excited for you. But um, oh. the, you know oh, the, the the thing about that is the voting, interestingly enough, is going to be completely irrelevant for you. And the reason being is because, oh. yeah, it, it's actually not going to matter. And the reason being is because I had a conversation with uh, Kevin Brief earlier. And, um, you know, he, he gave me a top three of all the auditions we got. And, um, yeah. you know, when we looked at the list, can you imagine who he put as number one? Um, I don't know. Well, that'd be you, Hope. I'm calling because of all the people who auditioned, Kevin Brief singled you out and uh, very specifically oh chose god. you as the absolute clear winner for the week you were phenomenal oh my god oh my god thank you so much <laughs> yeah hope you did such a great job like both i, I talked to kevin oh. about it and we both said the same thing we both said it was an absolute excellent choice for monologue pieces you totally connected with the character. Your comedic timing, everything was spot on. Even me and my wife, when we watched it, we oh got to the god. end, we were laughing hysterically. Um, oh my god! Thank you so much. I hope, yeah, uh, we're we're very excited for you. We're very <laughs> proud to to congratulate you. And um, yeah, as oh it's, my god. Uh, hope you are. Congratulations! You're <laughs> as as we say on the show, you're getting your big break. Oh my god. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, we're just we're really excited oh, for you. We're so proud of you. Um, you did a wonderful job. Thank you. you know, so listen, we'll be in touch. We're gonna be in touch shortly with the details and all that. And um, you know, but okay. but hey, congratulations again. We're really we can't wait to work with you. We can't wait to see you on the show. All right. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations, Hope. I'm going to let you go, and we'll be in contact soon, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. You're so very welcome. You have a fabulous rest of your day. <laughs> thank you, you too. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my. That's awesome. You know, that that girl, that girl's on, in Australia. Mm -hmm. We had auditions coming from Michigan, from uh, New York, from all over, and that girl audition from Australia and that was that was amazing that was amazing like you know so it's world over world over world over big breaks everywhere so <laughs> you got we got we got someone from Australia coming to California to to, to be in the show Yay. that was awesome so who's next ah. who's next guys Yay. All right, guys. And so without further ado, we would like to introduce and congratulate all the way from Australia, Hope Beal. Hope, come on out. Oh, man. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hi, thank you. Oh, my gosh. Um, absolutely amazing. Um, and you, you're auditioning. You're coming to us all the way from Australia. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, all the way from Melbourne. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is that is absolutely phenomenal. That is absolutely <laughs> phenomenal. Thank you for uh, thank you for audition. Um, as I as I you know told her like the that there is when you see it, there's just you know she's going through it so naturally, and then just that moment at the end, the timing, everything is. We were, you know, we knew we we had something there immediately on first watch. My wife and I were laughing hysterically when that finished, <laughs> and that was just absolutely wonderfully done. Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I'll tell you what. We're, we're, tell us, please. What was um, you know? It's it's quite a distance, you know. And um, as Kevin said, it's quite a thing to um, you know. It's quite a thing. I've had people kind of you know balking at, at auditioning from across the country, let alone from across the ocean. It's a brave thing you've done. Uh, what inspired you? What inspired you to to put yourself out there, to put the audition out there, and and try out for a show in uh, in California? Yeah, so um, I think that it's obviously, you know, I, I everyone kind of knows that America is where the big market is in the acting world. And while I love the industry here in Australia, um, I think that 
the one of the goals is definitely kind of to you know transition to across the sea and um, yeah I think that it was just a great opportunity that I was able to film it from my own home and send it in and I was just inspired to be like you know what I'm just gonna give it a try and see where I go and if it doesn't work then like no harm's done but if it does then I've got a chance to maybe take a next step and try it in the industry over there and yeah that was basically what <laughs> inspired me. <laughs> I, yeah, it's absolutely, that's absolutely phenomenal. Um... In that particular note, in that particular note, I want to jump off what you said. There are, I have actually had, interestingly enough, this particular week, we actually heard from a lot of people that they were hesitating to submit comedy. You know, they were a little bit intimidated by it. They, they are, they, they were excited about the drama. They're excited about what's coming next. Um, and you know, I, I suppose, you know, hope for, you know, for all the people out there. There's a lot of people out there who, who are hesitating, who are not sure. Maybe. Maybe a given genre is just not, you know, um, it is not their perfect, their perfect genre. They want to, they want to wait for. What would you want to say to the person who's on the fence and isn't really sure about either, you know, maybe they're not comfortable posting, you know, they actually posting for the world to see their audition. Maybe they're uncertain because they just don't know if they're going to make the show. What do you want to say to that person who's on the fence? Yeah, absolutely. So. Um, for me personally, drama is what I love and that's what I thrive in and can, funnily enough, it was comedy that I was like, you know what, I'm going to give it a go. And for, yeah, sitting on the fence, if it's a genre that you're kind of not thing, it's just all about fun and something that I've really learnt in this industry is that you've got to be your own biggest fan, you've got to be your own biggest supporter, you've got to have your own back, you've got to make sure that you know that you're just, you got your own back. So, yeah, it's just really believe in yourself. <laughs> Make sure that you know, you think, you know what, it doesn't really matter what anyone else says because I'm going to go out there, I'm going to do my thing, this is my passion, this is what I want to do, and as long as I'm having fun and I'm doing what I love, then can't really go wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's really true. That's really true. You know, it, thank you so much for saying that. To everybody out there, uh, us at the big break, we just want to encourage you to, to try, you know, to be the person that puts yourself out there and give it a shot. Um, our goal here is to is to be that platform for you to give you and to give you that shot you know over and over you never know week one two three ten you don't know where it's gonna click you know but if you don't try then you're not giving yourself that shot so believe in believe in yourself we believe in you and it doesn't matter where in the world you are like I, I'm just I am so ecstatic and excited that we have someone coming from so far away um, <laughs> There's, there's, as we can see, there's a lot of talent out there, not just in our country, but across the world, and and we want to, we really want to see more of it. So thank you, Hope. Is, you know, absolutely amazing. Kevin, is there anything else you wanted to, anything else you wanted to add um, on uh, your observations on her audition? Yeah. First of all, I, I want to apologize. I didn't mean to cost you guys such a long distance phone call. I, <laughs> I, I didn't know where she was. Uh, and I was, you know, I, I had no idea. She, I, obviously, I heard the the, the accent, but I. I, I didn't. I didn't know if, where you that you were there. Um, by the way, I can't do an Australian accent. If my life depended on it, I, uh, my, I just one I can't get my mind around for some reason. In any case, um, one one thing you you alluded to and that, that Andy was saying is that try not to think of it as a different. Everything's acting, guys. I mean, it's you're still there's a there's a script, there's a character, there's a, a thing you got to bring to life. There's a there's an intention you have to have. It's just a different, not quite medium. I mean. Like from stage to, to film, it's you, you're still acting. You're just changing the medium. Don't look at it as a whole new world. One thing that Hope did that I think, in, and you got to realize this is an audition. You have this amount of time, whatever. There's no, you, you don't have the time to, to rev up into something. You got to catch them right away. Hope caught it right, caught my eye right away with, with the opening of her thing. Uh, so that energy, that intention, everybody's got to be there right at the top. Uh, now, when you get on the set, you know, if you get the job, yeah, you got the time to do that stuff and work it out. But the case of the audition, you know, that's what they're going to see. And you don't want to waste much of your time revving up to where you want to be. So, yeah. Uh, and the fact that you think your strong suit is drama and you got this out there and you and you were my top choice in a comedy competition, you know, nice lesson to be learned there. <laughs> you have you, t you have things that you can tap on yourself. You have no idea there, probably. So I encourage you to do that, and congratulations. Uh, and if further going on, if you could help me get my Australian dialect down, that would be <laughs> Sure. <laughs> All I can say is Foster's. It's Australian for beer. Or Outback Steakhouse, and then I'm done. I can't do anything else. Yeah, that was pretty good, Outback yeah, Steakhouse. you know, I can do that. I can do that for the most part. 
our, our Twitch is we're, we're we're running a little longer than expected, guys. Thank you for everyone still watching. We're gonna finish up here. I know there's one bit of information everyone has been waiting for, and that's our category for next week. So, um, our category for next week um, is going to be classical and Shakespearean. Please send us your best classical and Shakespearean monologues. I know a lot of you out there have been waiting for this. Um, I, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see. You know, classical obviously engrosses more than just Shakespearean, but hey, give us your best. We're really looking forward to it. Um, I want to do a couple shout outs here. Uh, a couple shout outs. First off, we did, uh, when, when Kevin uh, gave me his uh, top picks, uh, we had a, a first set, you know, a, a one, two, three. And, you know, as we know, as we know, Hope was number one. Um, as it stands, Chloe was her number two, uh, his number two. And there was a number three. Um, so out there, uh, out there we have uh, Sarah Corey. Sarah, well, you were the number three pick for Kevin this week. Uh, your your audition was fabulous, um, and I just had it was delightful. It was fun to watch. Had so much energy. Uh, this is actually both. You've actually auditioned both our weeks. So I want to give you a big props for making the top three. Um, one more shout out we want to do in particular, and this one. The big break is going to fess up, and we actually made a technical glitch um, on the top eight on a uh, on a top eight video. Uh, one of our auditioners, Rodney Hobson, was supposed to be included, and through a technical glitch, um, we uh, we just I just got the message while we were here that apparently uh, his video was not edited in, and we made a little mistake there. So Rodney, um, I want to do a public shout out to you. Uh, everyone who's been checking out our top videos, please go through our Instagram, please go through our YouTube when we repost it. Check out Rodney's video. He made our top list and he did a fabulous job. Um, you know, he deserves some viewership. He did really well and we hope that he uh, continues to uh, keep on auditioning. Rodney, keep up the great work, man. Sorry for the mistake. Our bad. Just going to fest to that. But we're going to fix it and have it out there. We look forward to seeing more from you. Um, so guys, as we move forward here, uh, we're going to close up. Uh, in a moment, I'll ask Kevin to speak for a moment on the classical as we finish. But a couple of housekeeping things really quick, guys. So first off, on the voting, just a reminder, we are hand going through the votes. So we appreciate the enthusiasm. There was less this time. But just as a fair heads up, when we count votes, a single person can only count, vote for one person once. So when we have a friend vote five times for the same person, we are just counting it once because we want to be fair. Um, we are going to count votes from here on out. We will count votes on every social media. So when we post up an announcement on any social media, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, whatever, when you comment and tag your friend on that one, so if someone goes and, and they vote for, uh, if they vote for uh, you know, Rodney next week on every one of our social medias, you know, if we have five, six posts up, then that's five, six votes for Rodney. So you guys can... You know, hit whatever your favorite social media is. Follow us on on, on all of them. But we're going to open up the voting to make it as easy for you as possible to support who you want to support. As long as you guys use the hashtag Big Break Audition so we can find it, we'll get it. Um, if you have a means of sending it to, if you send us a file, if you if you send it to us, literally any means so we can get it, we will take your audition. Um, you know, the only really re real requirement is you must go to our website and sign up or we can't technically use your audition. So please go to our website, you know, thebigbreak.tv, go to How to Audition, you'll get a form, you'll go to a form, fill it out, and that's it. Send us your audition you're in. It's, we're trying to make this as simple as possible. Um, finally, guys, um, uh, please uh, support our Kickstarter. You know, you know, complete plug, we need our Kickstarter supported, guys. What we're trying to do, as you can see, is give a platform from the Undiscovered. We've got a lot of great rewards on there for people to, uh, to take part in. But this is how we're going to you know, we're going to be able to give Hope her shot. How we're going to give Chloe her shot. You know the winners from last week. This is how our show is going to happen, guys. Is every time you support us, you're making it possible for us to try to open a door for them. And that's really it. It's the whole help us help them thing. All right. Um, I would bust out the Jerry Maguire impression, but I'm not an actor. So. Um, so guys, uh, as we finish up here, thank you again um, for all your support. Um, you know, we've really been, our audience has been growing quickly. Please spread the word, uh, the big break, so we can create a platform for all these amazing aspiring actors and writers. Um, and just to finish things up, uh, Kevin, if you want to take a couple minutes, and for all those people who are going to audition, you know, tell them about uh, what would you look for in a solid Shakespearean or classical monologue. Oh, I want to almost say the same thing, but not quite. Um, it's still acting, folks. You're intimidated by the language. You're intimidated by it. It's 
it's still acting, comedy is acting, drama's acting. That's the that's the baseline. Don't be scared by the rest of it. A um, couple of hints for me on Shakespeare: pay attention to the scansion, uh, the iambic pentameter. It tells you a lot. Uh, it helps you understand the line more. Uh, and sometimes when it's not there, you know, if he adds an extra beat, there's a reason for it, and you can discover that reason. And what I've done in the past, when I do when I do Shakespeare, particularly <coughs> Shakespeare, kind of translate it for yourself. What the heck you're saying? Write it down. You know, I'm saying, give me that. But forsooth, give me that flagon of of of, of mead, whatever. What you're saying, hey dude, give me some of that wine. Okay, <laughs> that's what you're saying. But you're saying it like that. So, in my mind, I I say it with those words. But that's my intention of doing it. And I guess I guess the main thing, don't be intimidated by it. You know, it sounds like you're not going to be. From what Andy said, a lot of people are anxious to do it. You know, I think you're all nuts, but good. That's great. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I, to be honest, I've done a lot of Shakespeare in my day, but not in quite a while. So uh, I'd be a little rusty. Uh, so those are my, my couple of my, my, my uh, go forth and be bold speech for the uh, classical stuff. Well, guys, uh, we've uh, we've run a little long, but uh, this is this was amazing. Um, I hope. Not me, I talk a lot. Sorry. <laughs> well, I I like to think of it as a great deal of wisdom that's being offered to people. I hope they're taking notes. I hope they're paying attention. It's it's it's. Um, we're very blessed to have had Kevin with us uh, this week. Um, uh, we uh, as as a as a little bit of a preview. I'm not going to reveal the name that's going to be posted up shortly. Um, but for next week, we will be having. We will be having a uh, a feature director, a uh, feature judge, to go through our classical, who is quite trained in this, who will be uh, joining us all the way from London. So uh, it's going to be a fun time next week. We'll announce that soon. Uh, check out our social media, guys. As always, follow us, please, on uh, on all of our social media, but especially Instagram. Keep an eye on our show here. Uh, we'll be posting up some awesome stuff on our YouTube. Um, we have a lot of really cool content coming when the uh, when the month is over. Um, not even kidding. Spread the word on our Kickstarter. Can't say it enough. <laughs> all right, guys. So thanks again for a fabulous week. Uh, we're looking forward to week three. And from all of us here at the Big big Break, break a leg. Everybody, thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you.